What the hell? What? <laughs> There's five more. Five rows of this. All guitars. So we are here now in Fort Wayne, Indiana in the USA for Gear Fest 2022 brought to you by Sweetwater and it's going to be a crazy event so let's get started. So what is Sweetwater and what is Gear Fest? So Sweetwater is the largest online retailer of musical instruments and pro audio equipment in the USA but they do have a physical store and it's located right at their headquarters in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And this store is the largest music store in America so they pretty much have everything from guitar straps to DJ gear to orchestral equipment. Now Gear Fest is a trade show organized by Sweetwater where some of the biggest brands in music show off their latest and greatest gear. Look at oh! <laughs> Yo, headphones! Yeah, yeah. And what makes this particular event so special is the fact that Sweetwater flew in a bunch of content creators from around the world to participate and take part in this content creator focused gear fest. So in this video, you're gonna see me test out the best gear you could use for DJing, producing, and content creating. Now starting with the DJ gear, the first booth we checked out was Pioneer DJs. So on display, we had the DDJ Rev1, Rev7, RX3, and the new DJM S5. So my initial impression of the S5 is that it's a budget S11 mixer built for Serato DJ. So it has all the core features of what makes an S11 so popular, like the paddle effects and Magville cross fader. The best part of this unit though is that it's only $840. So if you're in the market for a competent budget scratch mixer centered on the basics, then the S5 may be the mixer for you. Now besides checking the S5 out, I also checked out Pioneer DJ's other offerings and while doing so, I got some free stuff along the way. The next booth I checked out was a Denon DJ slash Rain slash Newmark DJ booth and on display was the Prime Go, Rain 1, Newmark Mixstream Pro and a pair of LC6000s attached to a Rain 72 mixer. Now everything here I already pretty much talked about on the channel but I did learn a couple of new things about each unit like how the LC6000s were great with the Rain 72s and how you can never really have enough of the LC6000s as they work amazingly well with beginner and pro equipment. And finally, the last DJ booth I checked out was Tractors and everything here was pretty standard. They had their S2 and S4 Mark III's on display and I got to demo them. Now there really isn't much to say here as these controllers have been out for 4 years now and are much due for a refresh. Hopefully though, the next iteration of these units will come out for the next Gear Fest. Anyway, that was it for DJ Gear. Now the next 3 booths we checked out didn't really involve DJ gear per se but rather gear that would aid DJs, producers, and content creators out. And little did I know that these 3 booths each had a surprise for me. So let's start with the first one which is Roland's Vimoda's booth. This is the Crossfade 2 wireless and as you can see here, Vimoda themselves customized these headphones for me. These headphones are just amazing but my 3 favorite things about it are the following. Number 1. It can work wirelessly via Bluetooth for up to 14 hours. Number 2. It can provide certified high-res sound when wired. And number 3. It's foldable, portable, and comes with a case. Wait, if you guys want to win this one-of-a-kind headphones, just like this video and comment down below. The next booth I checked out was Shure's. And on display were a bunch of their headphones and iconic microphones. And one of their most popular microphones is the SM58 as it's durable, affordable, and reliable. And my favorite thing about it is that it just works and does its job incredibly well. So if you're just gonna get one microphone for DJing and performing, well this is the one to get. And finally, the last booth I checked out was Universal Audios. And this brand is the world's leader in Thunderbolt audio interfaces, analog recording hardware, and UAD audio plugins. And so their stuff is perfect for DJs who want to get into production. Because the tried and tested key to really upping your career as a DJ is to produce your own music. And Universal Audio has just released a product that is perfect for just that. This is the Vault 2. 
and it's a $190 USB-C audio interface made for creatives who want to easily record audio with legendary studio sound. And my favorite thing about the Vault 2 is that for its price, it simply delivers superior studio sound quality with more character and tone than any other USB interface in its class. Now besides checking out booths in GearFest, Sweetwater also showed us around their $52.5 million state-of-the-art distribution center. And this facility is big, about 8 acres big. And on top of that, it's also incredibly busy. From top to bottom, there are people and inventory moving in and about everywhere. I was nothing but amazed and gobsmacked with the whole place. Before we end this video, the last two things they did in Sweetwater was have a pretty spicy podcast with Cleveland Terry. What happened after you won three style? Good question. Yes. I'm trying to understand how the bridge works between winning three style and then being a YouTube. Okay, guy. I can break that down. And watch the rodeo games where a bunch of YouTubers battled it out for roadie supremacy. <laughs> Both videos are linked below if you want to check them out. Now overall, GearFest 2022 was a blast. Not only did I get to try and see the industry's latest offerings, but I got to make a lot of new friends along the way, from fellow content creators to Sweetwater personnel. So thank you Sweetwater for making this amazing event happen, and thank you guys for watching this video.